Hello guys, we are continuing with our topic, Guna Button. Today we want to talk about the checked state and other properties. So what is the checked state? Well, when the button is selected to radio button or to toggle button, the checked state is applied. So let's change our buttons to default buttons. And let's run. We'd like to demonstrate by example. As you can see, the button is selected, but the UI remains the same. It doesn't show in any way that this button or these buttons are selected. Now, we'd like to change the button status or the button status from default button to radio button and let's run the project now when the button is selected we can see the UI feedback that the button is selected or it's checked but we'd like to make this more pronounced so that users can clearly see beyond any doubt which button is selected or if a particular button is indeed selected. That's where the checked state and a group of the checked state properties come into play. So let's say this. If the button is checked, we want the border color to be black. We want the fill color to be black. We want the full color to be white. And we want to change the font to bold and 12 pixels. Let's choose this better font. Instead of 12 pixel size, let's take this to 16 and press OK. Remember, our buttons are set to radio buttons. Now, let's run the project. Let's select option one. There you go. Now the button is selected beyond any doubt. The visual feedback is obvious. Let's select option three, option four, option two, option one. What if you want to select multiple buttons? Remember, we change the button state from radio button to toggle button and we run the project. Now we can have more than one button selected and the visual feedback becomes obvious which buttons are selected. So is it possible to preset a particular button is checked? Yes. Let's select option number four and let's set this button to checked. And let's run the project. You will see that the button will be selected as checked by default and we can uncheck it. But by default, it's selected checked so this is how you can use friends you can use these these properties the checked state and the checked group of states you can also set the image property to show when the button is checked so this is how we can use the toggle button and the radio button together with the checked states to make the visual feedback obvious to our users that the button is selected or not selected or which group of buttons are selected. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.